you are an income investor, I want to just point out to you uh, a report that has come out this morning on dividends. For some time now, you've heard me talking about uh, a, a somewhat of a crisis in dividends and <clears throat> having uh, needing income is one thing. Finding stocks that are paying dividends, unfortunately, is getting harder and harder. And it's going to become almost a, a, a real crisis as time goes on. I think it's a crisis now because senior citizens have no other choice but to depend upon income-producing stocks, those stocks that are paying dividends. They have no other choice. And for most of the 21st century, they've had no choice. So they've moved more and more into equity and income stocks. And now we're looking at uh, dividends being cut dramatically around the world. And some of the statistical data coming out on that is phenomenal. And it's become almost a crisis, in my opinion. You're looking at, on average, big firms have slashed their dividend payouts 17 to 23 percent this year. That's as much as $400 billion of income that is not being paid out to people around the world. This is, that's a huge number and there's nowhere to go. And I don't know what people are going to do that are highly dependent upon these dividend payments. Now it's bad enough that they've gotten pushed into equity, into stocks in their latter years when they can at least afford the risk, but they have no choice because they, did, they need income. Now that income is starting to go away. Payments have plunged. By $108 billion in the first quarter and $382 billion in the second quarter. That's almost a half a trillion dollars just in the first two quarters, the first half of the year. So now I'm afraid that many seniors are going to be pushed into getting into more risk. But it is a problem and it's going to be a crisis for our senior citizens. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't want to miss all three live hours of financial issues every day from 9 to noon. And you can watch it on FISM.TV. That's FISM.TV.